folks, welcome back. So this week, um, off to my mate's place. Uh, you've seen, been there before, it's where we've moved on some of the, uh, the other daps. So yeah, there's all sorts of big, big things going on there. So um, if you don't know, I bought an awning for the side of Millie. We've got a truly four meter one, brand new one. So that's the mission this weekend to get it fitted. Can you see me? It's a bit dark, unfortunately. It's like six o'clock at night, dark outside. I've put the light on. So in a quarter of a mile at the roundabout, the take the second exit and stay on Louth Bypass A16. God, it's windy now. I've got the awning strapped to the roof. I'm hoping it doesn't fly off because <laughs> that'll be an expensive. Expensive, so I've ratchet strapped it to the side of me gutters on the roof. On the roof, not the gutters, the you know the rail. Um, shouldn't move, <laughs> but emergency stop. You never know what might fly at the end, so just be careful. Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's the plans this weekend. I've got gonna go to mates, have a good drink with him, and get this fitted. Exit the roundabout onto Louth Bypass. Continue on Louth Bypass for one mile. Can you hear him? But he's sat So yeah, the next thing is Friday night I've got night training going on. Me search and rescue. So I've got to test out my new boots. Um, hopefully I might have a new coat. Um, I might have some new gear as well, what we get given. So I'll show you all that. I've got my new rucksack come. Um, so I'll show you all that over the weekend. Few bits and bobs. I'm not sure how much I've earned yet on the, this month, but I might find out by the end of this video. It won't be a lot. But um, crypto, crypto, what can I say? It's just gone through the roof. Now I invested in Toshiba, only put $250 in um, right back when it was 0, 0, 0, 0, 007. Uh, we're nearly at 100, it was 88 to spot last night, and it's now worth nearly 10 grand. Uh, crazy, crazy times. So I'm getting ready to crack, cash out of that. Uh, In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Horncastle Road, A153. And then hopefully invest into the stuff. But yeah, crypto's gone crazy at the moment, we've got a couple of months. Hopefully we can get some money together to get some land uh, even thinking about I'm take the next right onto Horncastle Road A153 is maybe buying an aeroboat and renting it as an income um, so I've got a passive income coming in and I've got an emergency back up continue on A153 for 7 miles I to, you know, when I retire or finish um, so yeah maybe a possibility if anyone's looking for like a narrowboat to live on. Um, it'll just be one price because obviously you get it'll be all fully kitted out with electric and everything. You get your water yourself. So yeah, just drop us a message. I mean, uh, not guaranteeing anything. I've been talking about end of next year, but um, it's a lot easier renting out a boat than it is uh, a house. I don't want to go into all the headaches of landlords and non-payers, at least with a boat you can drag them off. So, but yeah, just a few little bits and bobs going on this this week. So, I'll leave it there because it's probably pitch back. You probably can't even see me. It's going to be probably terrible. So, I'll pick you guys up later tomorrow. So, we've got awning day. Working out where to put the brackets. We've had a big change, haven't we? We're, change, we're going higher. <laughs> going a bit higher. <clears throat> so, yeah, because we've just been looking at my mate's truck. We were going to go under here, which seems to be about right. But, it's just a few issues, because it does come down at an angle quite a bit and stuff like that. They're sort of quite low here, so we're, we're now going to go up the top and then all the bolts are hidden in all the cupboards. Don't need to worry about that. The only other issue I did wrong was could have ordered a bit smaller one. 
<laughs> so I've got the four meter. This is uh, the truly, um, I forgot which model it is, but it's the four meter one. And we are stretched. It does come to about there. <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be a full cover. Um, I thought I measured properly. I should have gone sort of three and a half, and then that would have given me a little bit of room just either side it can come in on that line. Then my mistake, but oh, he's done. We got her a bargain. So I don't know if I'll be able to get another one. That was a problem if I sent it back and it's all unboxed and everything. So. This was 669 and uh, yeah, the silly money, cheapest that on, uh, from that was like 899 So yeah, so we're going to go above that. Then it should come down fairly at a nice angle. Because um, we can't use the plates on the truck, so we need it to sort of make sure the legs, we've measured all the legs are fine. It was a bit of a panic one to, with the legs. We thought, oh, it's not going to be fit. But yeah, we was going to put a bracket there. Yeah, we read instructions. Yes, <laughs> just seen the videos. We did get a big panic because we couldn't lock the legs up. But obviously, with it being here, if you come down here, we've got nowhere here to put a bracket for your arm. Unless you went there, which might be an option. But anyway. It's going to be a big old awning at the end of the day. <laughs> There's the awning, we've got all the brackets on. This is not a how-to video. <laughs> so yeah, this is where we're going to do. So all the brackets, we've got a big one going this end. Then there'll be the little one that end. Miss the toilet, because it's a mess in here. And then because we've got wardrobes again, all the other big brackets can all hide in these wardrobes. Because obviously I've got wardrobes at the end of my bed. Um, the other option you see, when we're going to put it below the window, is, you know, the brackets would have come through here. And you'd have had big plates on there and stuff like that. And they'd have been showing in the kitchen. That's one of the reasons we've gone a bit higher. And we're going to try and get it so it tilts down a bit higher. Um, hopefully we've made the right choice. But... Uh, we will see. But, um, yeah, there's a problem with these big trucks. It, you either got to go high or high. <laughs> there isn't a the normal setting. So, that's where we're going. Above there. It looks a lot better from out here, Paul. Yeah. So we've got all the brackets on. Yeah, now it's test fit time. Stand back here. Here we go. We've got a clipped on. Still got a bolter up. But yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> if I went for the 3.8 or a 3.5, we'd have not got away. But it sits flush because of the brackets are level with that anyway. So that's perfectly flush. What have you done? So, what yeah. One big four meter. Now we need some parties under it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. One awning. What height do you reckon that's at? Seven? About seven foot. Yeah, so it drops down to about seven. So it was a bit worrying about having it so high, but yeah, so I can reach everything. Put the legs in, wind it back up. But Whee! <laughs> looks more like a motor home now. <laughs> How we doing guys? So um yeah, not really done much uh like you've seen in the video. We've just had my new awning fitted. Um yeah, it's looking nice. <laughs> I do like it. It's but I oh, got it. There's a little clip already dropped out of it, um, so I've got to repair that. It just slots in somewhere. So, but yeah, um, 
can't wait for summer now because <laughs> the winter I'm too paranoid uh, I didn't film it after we had it fitted we left it up for the night because we had one self tapper screw was an absolute nightmare um, trying to do a three three mil hole it, it just wouldn't have it and you know it was just an absolute nightmare there you go what are you doing you're going to sit down for me. so we eventually got it done but yeah in the morning i woke up and it was like what's that noise and then it just dawned on me it's like Shh. i was expecting it to be blowing away because the wind was howling well it was just getting the brink of it so we was lucky so i got it wound in so yeah what i've come on for is to basically show you a few more bits we've got together for the search and rescue charity i'm working for and some of the new bits i've got um there's a few bits on order now the merchandise didn't do very well this month i mean i understand i only sold one item um, but if you want any stickers or anything like that if you get them off the website um it's all linked 59 degrees uh, they're the company who do everything like stickers and stuff like that. I get like um, if you buy the 250 pack I think it works out I get a quid um, per every one so just get a sticker or something and it just helps that's a pound that goes into the charity but you know funding all the bits so what we got so we've got a um, solar powered uh, like a you know backup so if I'm out in the field for quite a long time, need my phone charging, need my um, torch for in charging, I can use that. So I thought that was a handy bit of kit. Got some safety goggles. Um, basically need these when we're doing training, when we go into the forest. Um, I comes out again. We did night training this week. Um, you know, it's branches are hitting you in the eyes. So that, you know brilliant bit of kit and um, we got a rucksack in the end I got a 35 litre one it was a second hand off eBay it sat on it I forgot which one it was in millets I think these are 45 quid it's quite a lightweight one it's a Tibet 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 35 I forgot what make it was now I thought it said on it um, it's a good make one uh, oh, it's uh, high gear. So I have got the rucksack cover coming for that. So in all the search and rescue colours, <coughs> I've got the the expensive three layer base coat. Um, that's coming. Um, I've got a hoodie coming. I think that all that lot was seventy quid. Um, we're getting it all at cost. Um, obviously, the guy. Where we're buying them all from me he's linked in my thing it's g should have double checked that it's linked in the description g4 h i think they are and he does all these and sells these to military police ambulance you know all these sort of companies so yeah i've got my i've got one of these this is what i've got free these were given to us by the company it's because we're part of the same team so we've got Big eye viz jacket, uh, with loads of pockets and stuff on. And that goes over your coat. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Oh, sticks coming off there. And um, yeah, obviously got pockets. Got little things like um, click click fast. So my new torch, what I've got, that goes in there. Works brilliant. Uh, obviously that's my digital radio. So, yeah, look enough, they're free, because they're about 55 quid or something like that, they're expensive. Um, I think that's all I've got to show you at the moment. Um, new bits are coming, uh, they might be delivered this week, so we'll show you then. But yeah, so basically it's just to explain, if you're new as well, um, and the adverts on, on YouTube here, every penny of that goes into the bank to help cover all these sort of costs um it's i'm spending about 100 quid a month on bits obviously i don't earn that much i think this month was 53 pound or something um but you know i've been selling a few bits and bobs so that helps 
so yeah it's just another big thank you you know with your help um, just watching these videos you know every little penny goes in towards this if you want any merchandise I am going to bring a new line out um, obviously if you don't know I run a group called Lorry Life Campers UK so I'm going to get some Lorry Life shirts and hoodies and all that sort of thing so if you've got a lorry we're, we're trying to work a logo or something out but we'll get to that I'll let you know about that and again every penny from that will just come into this it just helps fund it it's things like I need a digital radio um, that's another digital one but because these are broadnet uh, which is they're on a sim card we've got to go to a digital more walkie talkie um, but again two, 200 plus quid everything comes at a price unfortunately but yeah brilliant the, the company we're getting everything from is just doing them all at cost so that's saved me a fortune like the jacket I've ordered I think on the website they're 85 quid on loan so there you go I'm paying I've got that a rucksack cover and a hoodie for 70 and delivered so getting them a lot cheaper luckily um, but yeah it's his team as well so um, eventually I'll try and get some uh, there will be a few group photos at the end when we was out just the day before Halloween it was on Friday yeah was it Friday was it Friday last week I think it, yeah it was Friday out in the woods training um, I can't do this training this Saturday because I'm working night so I'll miss that one but we've got online training as well we're doing but yeah that's just a thank you and to wrap this vlog up it's only a basic little one um, I'm off to a big bonfire do so I'll get some there's no no fireworks there so we'll get some filming done there and I've got the week off as well so I'm on holiday next week yay and I'm not ill <laughs> Um, so yeah, that makes a bonus, so just a week on my own, don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, don't know, so yeah, so this will be out this Saturday, so yeah, any ideas if you're not too far from Lincolnshire, what I'll meet up, let me know, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, I'm going to be in Retford, um, Retford Lakes it's called, there's about 80 other campers going, um, I can't remember the group now. But it's uh, quite a regular group meetup. I think it's like 10 quid a night. So my sister's going, she's off in a tent. So I thought we'll go down. Well, me rocks, what are you doing? So yeah, we'll bring you that. But yeah, um, like I say, when you see this on Saturday, I just drop me a message or something like that. Um, give me some ideas, I might meet up. Um, I don't want to travel too far, I'm trying to save some pennies, so, um, but yeah, don't know whether to go back up to Peak District, just meet up with a few people I haven't seen up there at Mantor, old Rick and all that, um, say hello, and Liam, and it's been a long time since I've been up there, there's just so many van lifers up there, I just want to keep away, um, you know, because they're sort of practically living out there, um, but yeah, round here, it's gone. I've lost all my spots nearly now, all the way down the coast. They're putting parking machines in. You got to ring up, like ring up, and they've got their bean looks watched as well. So from the first of November, which is gone, unfortunately. So all your hut off everywhere. It's uh, no go zone. They're going to be patrolling all the time because they're going to make a, an example of most people so they've changed the laws they've, ch they've changed the bylaws now so that and even legally it's to do with your size of your vehicle so i think six meters is the longest you're allowed i'm longer than that i'm seven and a half easy so yeah automatically banned so i don't know if they're going around with tape measures <laughs> but yeah just a warning if you're coming down to the coast it's uh Apparently the parking is, you don't have to pay for the parking, I think until next year. I think somebody put a picture up, they put a bag over it, but I don't know yet. But the laws still stay after 10 o'clock. They are zero tolerance. So I don't know if they're gonna be 
monitoring that much but yeah I think that's the end of hut off unfortunately so yeah I need to go out and get out mountain biking as well if there's any mountain bikers out there and you fancy uh, showing me some places I'm not too far away from Lincolnshire I might uh, need to do some of that next month uh, well next week when I'm on right guys thanks a lot like I say drop um, go and have a look at the link um, the you know for the clothing stickers mugs like I say if there's anything you fancy the company has got so much stuff um, you can just email the company tell them something you fancy and they'll be able to sort you out um, there's only a sort of a small selection on the on the actual website um, but we don't know unless people tell us what you, you know what you fancy so you know um, it's hard to say um, winter's coming up so I know there's beanies and stuff there which reminds me I need to order one so but yeah just get stickers um, I might try and get a few more stickers so you get like a, a bumper pack instead of the same one we'll try and uh, do it up a little bit so yeah that's it guys we will see you next week.